it's in the neonatal care center, the nursery, you have like a gentle hands program. We actually were able to visit. Let's take a look at that. So we take care of all ranges and sizes of infants. Obviously, if they're sick or need surgery, they're going to come to Children's Hospital Oakland. My role is the baby in the intensive care nursery that is not a normal environment for parents. My role is to help a parent and baby find each other within the state-of-the-art technology. This is infant development specialist Betty Fleshman. Parents need to form an attachment with the baby and build their confidence. The baby needs that as much as it needs any of the medical interventions that we have. In the beginnings, parents, their natural instincts often are to come in and stroke the baby lightly with their fingertips and just imagine if you didn't feel well and had lots of machinery attached to you, how irritating that would be. And sometimes they do that and the baby reacts in a way that isn't good and the parent feels, oh, I don't want to harm my baby, I won't touch my baby anymore. So we help them learn what an appropriate, non-stimulating, good touch is, and that in the beginning is taking their hands, firmly placing them at the head, at the feet, or at the back. So with their hands, they gently try to give them that contact, and as long as the baby is giving them the message that they're comfortable with that, they can stay like that for the longest period. And in a way, that's the beginning of communication. But at Children's, they've recognized the importance of this role and have integrated the importance of developmental care. Even with volunteers like Doris Eckholm. He's a good boy, and I, I enjoy it so much. Just lying there can be very damaging to the spirit. And uh, so this, I think it helps a lot in healing. It's just hearing someone talk to you and pat you and stroke and uh, give you love. <laughs> That's the main thing. And it works. It seems to be a two-way street. Exactly. You've got it right. It's 